hey guys welcome to my channel welcome to my vlog so today you're going to be spending the weekend with manila underscore v but before we do that baby we are going to be prepping the wig that i'm going to be wearing throughout the weekend and it's from d y hair 777 and this hair is a virgin brazilian that's unprocessed and as you can see it's a four by four closure wig you know there's a lace shortage so baby we back to wearing closures so guys as you can see this wig is cute and uh, i just wanted to show you the inside or the construction of the wig it has your basic adjustables at the back and the combs and as i mentioned this is a closure wig and before i wear the wig or you know just take the wig out i just wanted to bleach the knots to make it a little bit natural because you know sometimes closures have a way of not looking very natural versus frontals but um before i do anything i'm just cutting off the cap around the perimeter of the closure as you can see and then i'm going to be using this highlight kit basically bleach from checkers i'm not specific on which bleach i use to be honest anything that i find at the store i use but the most important thing i wanted to show you is the consistency of my bleach i like it to be a bit thick more like toothpaste because i don't want it to be too wet so that it uh, bleeds through my actual hair and passes through the knots and it's just a mess so i'm applying this with a toothbrush i'm not pressing it and i'm just applying it on just like butter and then i'm gonna put this foil and then just leave it for a few minutes uh for just a few minutes to bleach and then i'll get back to you guys after that guys i just wanted to show you how this looks now that i have bleached it i don't know how long i waited but i tried waiting for it for a while but uh, i i kind of don't have time also because i want to get ready because my husband is coming back from the farm and we planned to go to either sun deck or somewhere just you know for a kid lunch so um yeah guys i don't know hey i'm not sure if this is bleached enough but i'm just gonna go rinse this and wash it with purple shampoo and then while i'm waiting for the wig to dry i'm gonna come and do my makeup but if these knots are not as bleached as i want them to be i think i'm going to have to re-bleach them tomorrow or some other day but yeah let me go wash and rinse off and then wait for my wig to dry hi you guys it's so hot i thought i was going to do a talk through child but <laughs> no ways i need to put on my fan it's hot it's so hot but i just wanted to show you i'm done washing the the unit it's not fully dry but it's like dry i can still wear it if that makes sense so i mean after you wash it the curl is still there like the curl pattern is still there but it's not like as traumatic as it was so guys uh, i'm going to be using this styling gel that i got from clicks i actually really like this I actually really really like this but anyway <laughs> uh, I'm going to be applying it around my hairline just to slick my edges down so it's neat even if my wig decides to fly or you know shift it's neat it's neat so I'm just slicking down my edges and then I'm going to wear my wig cap and after that i'm just going to put on the wig guys like literally i'm not styling or straightening blow drying the wig today because i just want to enjoy the natural loose curl pattern all the specs of the wig will be in my description down below but this is it guys literally like i'm not doing anything to the wig today because i wanted to just see how the loose curl performs when it's not you know blow dried Hey guys, so <laughs> I haven't said 
hi actually guys yes, i'm so rude but anyway hi guys so uh <laughs> this is my hair guys actually uh i didn't do anything to the hair i didn't stick it on i just literally wore it like how i wore it uh in the previous uh, in the previous scenes whatever i literally did not do anything i just stick it on didn't lay any any uh edges I also didn't plug or anything because I didn't have the time but you know I, I'm actually just I'm happy at how the hair looks right now to be honest I'm also like into easy these days like I'm over I'm, I'm, I'm obviously not not gonna put on a frontal when I need to but uh, when I don't have to I don't see the need we're from JJ Kale guys as you saw we went to JJ Kale and my husband had to get some stuff there and then we're on our way to Mall of Africa <laughs> We don't know which restaurant we're gonna end up in, but we're on our way to not Mall of Africa, Waterfall Corner. Then uh, I'll update you on a place where oh lighting, what's going on? On a place that we end up finding because we haven't made a decision nor did we make any bookings, if that makes sense. So oh, initially the plan was to go to what do you call the place? Um. Sun, not Sun Deck, yeah. but the yeah High Park Sun Deck, if I'm not mistaken. But they said it's not vlog friendly. And guys, to be honest, eh? the one, the one oh, you call you call the you call the one in Sunton. Oh, you don't call the one in High Park. Yeah, I think it's called Sun Deck, if I'm not mistaken. But uh. Those places say they're not vlog friendly and that's a bit pointless for me because I am trying to vlog and I am a YouTuber and I do vlog my life most of the time. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go to a place that is vlog friendly. And the last time I went to Life Grand, uh, there were no issues in terms of me vlogging and stuff like that. And also guys, as a vlogger, I obviously do respect people's privacy because I don't vlog everyone. I vlog my experience and the people that I'm with. But anyway, guys, when we find a place to, to eat, uh, I'll get back to you guys. How's your night, baby? Oh, Very chill, huh? Yeah. I'm not a big nerve person, but I actually enjoy it. That's a fillet is bomb, huh? Did you enjoy your fillet? That fillet was everything. Well seasoned. In fact, I thought the pepper crusting wasn't enough when I saw it. But like on the tongue, yes. Sir. Really? Everything. Everything. So how, how many how many points huh? do you give it? Uh, huh? I don't know, I'd say like seven and a half out of ten. What's going on? It's coming. Who's coming? Guys, 
Uh, so I feel like yesterday I didn't show you how I Okay, I did it, but like I literally did nothing basically. So today I am going to use another method. I think I'm gonna stick on my closure because girl yesterday she was moving around. So today I don't want it to move around. So I think I'm just gonna use got to be glue by on the on the closure section. But I also wanted to show you my skin guys. Uh, I think I will show you a video where I was complaining about my skin. I think it was last week But I've been complaining about my skin and this was my problem area and this was my problem area And I wanted to show you guys never mind that I have this. This is just you know, but please look at my skin It's getting so much better. I wanted to show you what I used So basically I've been using my I went back to my old um moisturizer this is my old old moisturizer that i used to use back in the day not back in the day i also used it last year but you know sometimes i like changing my stuff but this is the moisturizer that always worked for me she's like this one always works for me i think you can find it at clicks and Diskim. and then uh i went okay obviously not went back but i also started intensively applying my sunscreen because i was slacking on that part and i've been using the sunscreen for years now guys like i've been using this for years like if you if you if you're an og subscriber or og follower you'll know that i've been using this forever and then um I also was looking for aloe vera gel because I used to use the one from what's that brand forever and it really helped me out guys but I just stopped using it I don't know for what reason but then I went to this game to go look for aloe vera gel and I couldn't find any like fancy ones I got this one under this brand beauty treats and girl I've been applying this as like a night cream at night and it works phenomenal on me guys like this is affordable and actually works. So if you have dry skin, oh, this thing is making so much noise. But if you have dry skin and it's very scaly and it's very, if you have very dry skin that like scales and stuff like that, I think you should look into investing in a good aloe vera gel. So I'm just applying gel like I did yesterday. Here. Guys, can you hear Kunkani screaming for me? The, the door is open, Papa. And I'm just going to brush everything back and then put on my wig cap. This wig cap is a weird color, guys. It's like in between the really red ones and the really light ones. It's like more gray, actually, to be honest. But anyway, it works. This is a closure. And I kind of push everything back just a little bit. I'm trying to look at myself in the mirror and also the viewfinder so I might look squint and crazy but so I, I also blow dried the wig today and added some few curls like with my curling wand I didn't do too much guys to be honest like it wasn't intense like literally I didn't even like pick lines or anything and I'm actually happy with how it looks uh, I'm gonna brush it when the hair's on but I still haven't plugged. I don't think I will. I'm joking. Let me not. Let me not be lazy. But I haven't plugged the hair on anything. So let me just put it on my hair, and then we're gonna stick the closure. And in all honesty, guys, I'm not. I'm happy about this hair. To be honest, I'm very weird about straight hair. If that makes sense. But this is not straight hair, also. So if I didn't mention, this is a four by four closure. So it's simple for me. I don't have to, guys. I've been saying though. And also, there's a short, there's a shortage of lace fronts, guys, or of like lace to make lace fronts, basically. So if I was you before and things start becoming becoming really intense, I'ma go grab, go grab yourself a wig that is <laughs> like a closure or something. But uh, it has combs, but I don't like using those combs because they give me a headache. But. This is literally, uh, I think I will spray some got to be glue spray, not the glue, you know, so that it's secure because I also want to put on a, what do you call it, an Alice band again today because I've been feeling that vibe. The only thing that's irritating me, it's okay, I fixed it today. So I'm just going to spray this guys, like this is... The mini got to be to spray. I've had this for years actually. It's so crazy that it still works. But I'm just gonna spray it just a 
just under here. No. That's it, guys. Literally, like, that's it. <laughs> if that makes sense. And I'm just gonna comb it out. I'm having a very chilled Sunday today. We're going for brunch. And after brunch, we have to go get some groceries because we have kids, guys. We can't not not buy groceries. <laughs> so yesterday I really enjoyed the hair. It didn't tangle or anything. I probably just, you know, brushed the hair like once when I went to the bathroom. You know, sometimes there's hairs, guys, like especially like long hair that you constantly, like constantly have to be brushing. And oh, so that's why I'm always like wearing short hair, to be honest. So, yeah, this is it, guys. Like, I'm really simple when it comes to hair. I don't like uh busy busyness <laughs> if you want to put it under behind your ears you can do the little tuck in just pay a cognizant to the fact that this is a is obviously a closure it's not a lace frontal so you have to be very like neat with your tucking in and that's it you guys literally let's see if you guys can see the back but this is the look i was going for i don't want like glamorous curls that are like too tight or too perfect because obviously i'm not putting on makeup so i don't want to look half done i don't know i have this thing in my in my head guys where i feel like if you don't fully do things you look half done but that's it i'm just gonna put a black alice band on and then be done we're moving so i'll see you guys in the car at the restaurant <laughs> so guys, uh, I we done at Pablo and I think we're gonna go buy some veggies and stuff, you know, the normal things. But I just wanted to say um, we had a really good time. The vibe is really nice. They have a live band that's singing. So we got a lobster Benedict that I saw from Tool's <laughs> uh, channel. And we also got a pizza, pepperoni pizza. And guys, the lobster benedict was so good. You just needed to put like just a little bit of lemon juice on top of it, and it was amazing. I wish the portions were bigger, but <laughs> there's nothing I can do. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it, and I give it a nine. The, lo the lobster benedict, specifically, I think I give it a nine out of ten. And the pizza, I mean, you know, I wasn't here for pizza, but I ordered pizza, but. Uh, I think I'll give it a 7 out of 10. How much do you give it, babe? How much do you give the whole place? Like... Yeah, 7. A 7 out. I also think, I mean, the location is nice, but I wish there was, like, a bigger space. But there's nothing we can do. You have a nice view of Santon when you're here. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in my next... What do you call it? Excursion. So, guys... <laughs> it's later on in the day. I went home. I took a little nap. Oh my god, what's going on? Okay, I took a little nap and uh, I just woke up now and I washed my face. I thought I was gonna have a full day of doing things, but it was hard and things just didn't go up the, how they planned, how I was planning them to be. But um, I'm off to meet Shelly's place. I'm going to chill. She says she's cooking and there's other girls there. So I guess I'm gonna be chilling there. And, um, but now I'm first going to the garage. I'm going to get some stuff that she asked me to bring. And then before I end the vlog, I think when I get home later on, cause I don't wanna be home too late, uh, I will be announcing one of the giveaways that I'm going to be hosting. 
so I don't know if I'm going to be hosting two or three giveaways but the first one is going to happen I'm going to announce it on the in this vlog so you know stay tuned uh, it's a very exciting one uh, if you're a makeup lover and you know you like supporting black women in business and you're inspired by that can you please um, you know just just keep on watching you can stand a chance of winning a very exciting giveaway <laughs> say hi <laughs> Yo guys, we are Sunday. Let's see guys. The vibes, the vibes. The vibes. You look so pretty. That's uh, hi. Pretty, so like beautiful. Thank you. Dear Lord, we want to thank you for bringing us all together here today. To celebrate we don't know what but to celebrate life dear lord bless the food that we're about to eat and bless the hands and meat and bless the stomachs that are about to enjoy it in jesus name we pray amen amen okay let us handle Let's jump into the sea. Oh, guys, what a little bit. I'm so hungry. And it's so beautiful. Thank you. My flat stomach's about to be a fupa now. Friend, you can never have a fupa. I'm sorry I didn't end my, my vlog yesterday. I was just tired and I was also like just living the moment with my friends. But before I end this vlog, I want to announce the giveaway. So this week's giveaway will be a Hermosa Floor giveaway. I'll be giving away a lot of products, actually two palettes, some brushes, some stuff from Hermosa Floor. So uh, please stay also in tune on my Instagram. I will be posting all the details in on my on an instagram post my yeah like just watch out for that and also don't forget to basically the instructions of the giveaway is to win you need to follow my page make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also make sure that you are following her muscle floor and also make sure that you're following me on twitter and on under the post you have to comment a flower you have to comment a flower and tag two of your other friends on that post so that you can win. But also all the instructions and all the stuff that I'll be give, giving away will be noted and written down on my post on Instagram. So watch out for that.